Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the loft feature and we're going to look at this last activity or challenge in the top left hand corner which is a lofted twist as you can see here. And on the bottom you can see you've got a number of tabs as always. This tab here gives you a quick overview of the different challenges and it gives you links to YouTube to the different challenge tutorials. If you click on those icons, okay, you'll be linked to those tutorials. You've also got here a tab which gives you a quick overview to different resources and tutorials via different platforms. And then within this okay, document, you'll see lastly is the example which we're going to create today. So you can see here what we've got, if we have a look, is we've got a base sketch which is a hexagonal and then created an offset plane and then we've created an hexagonal at the top okay which is slightly smaller and then we've created a loft between those and then we've shelled that out as well okay so if we click on the plus and click on create part studio after a few seconds the part will appear in the tabs we can right click on this we can rename it and then click off to uh, confirm that. So if you look at the master, and we can see here what we've got. So we've got to create a base sketch, so we can edit that, and we'll have a look at what we've got. So we've got a hexagonal shape, which is 100 okay, millimeters in terms of that distance from there to there. So if we click sketch, click on the top work plane, press N, I'm going to go into polygon here. Okay, you may have a couple of different options here, but we're going to go for this top one. I'm going to click on origin and we're going to drag this out. So when I sort of spin this here, you'll see a little symbol will appear. That's telling me okay it's adding a relationship or constraint. So I'm going to click that once. I can move my mouse up and down to decide on how many Okay, size I want, I want six, so I'm going to click that. And then what I'm going to do is dimension this from top to bottom and type in 100, like so. Then I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to say this is going to be my bottom profile and confirm that, and it, you can see it appears here. Okay, so we've got that sketch. Let's have a look what I did next. So I created an offset plane, and let's have a look what the offset is. And that's 150 millimeters, okay, from that. So if we go back into here, I'm going to select this work plane here. I'm going to go up to plane, and it may be in the drop down here in case you've used other tools before. I'm going to go for 150. I'm going to make sure that it's above. Okay, so you see here, again, I could give this a name, so I could say this is going to be my top profile plane. i type plane in as well. Confirm that. You can see it appears here, and the name of it appears on there as well. So, we're going to create a sketch again on this plane this time. Press N to normalize that, and let's have a look at the size of this next one. Right click. So again, it's uh, six sided, but this time it's 60 millimeters. And you see here that this edge here, or all the edges actually are parallel, okay? I have not twisted, okay, the um, hexagonal shape here. I'll talk about that a bit further in a minute. So let me just uh, check that again, because my brain's like a sieve. Okay, 60 millimeters, okay. So I'm gonna create a sketch. So again, I'm going to drag this out, like so. I want six, so I'm just going to click, and then I'm going to dimension, dimension it from there to, if I zoom in and stop being lazy, like so. Again, I can give that a name, profile, top, and confirm that. And what we've got now is we've got these two hexagonal shapes and I'm going to use a 
a loft okay so if I loft between here it will create this sort of shape so if I just start this and show you so I'm going to go solid and new and I'm going to go from here straight to there and I'm just going to confirm that so you can see here what it's done it's gone from that small sorry larger okay hexagonal shape and it's gone up and it's gone to okay the small one at the top so there's no twist at the moment what you could have done when you go into this uh, sketch here one technique is to select that sketch and okay you'd have to remove okay one or two of the relationships to do this possibly but what you can do if you go into okay transform you could go into transform okay you can select this here and you can use the rotate okay move this point here because that's where you're going to rotate it about and then you can then obviously rotate that and then when it locks between the two it will okay create a natural twist however i'm going to show you a slightly different way i'm just going to save that and as you'll see here okay we've got this here so we're going to go back into the options and like normal you've got these options here where you can if i just change the angle okay you can set different conditions and you can change these values and as you can see that will distort okay the the shape or this, this shape between the two uh, profiles so you can okay, change these here but i'm just going to go non to non so it goes to the straightest shortest possible route between the two now if i go to this angle here and i go match connections this is where i could click on here and i'm going to match this point here and rather than it going straight up to that one i'm going to match it to the opposite point so just make sure that's confirmed i'm going to click this one and instead of that one there i'm going to click this one and you'll see that it will twist like so because what it's doing it's making a reference between that and that point and because this is the both hexagonal shapes it's carried that around and as you can see here it's created the twist okay so that is a better way of doing it because you've got more control of where the points okay are gonna be connected as you can see then if i confirm that and go above you can see i've got that twisted shape okay and then what i could do here now is i could right click on this assign a material Just wait a few seconds that appear and give that the uh, abs and confirm that now the other thing i need to do i did shell this out so let's check the shell and that's two and a half millimeters okay inwards so two and a half millimeters inwards so we've got a shell okay two and a half in not out so it's not going out it's going in like that and confirm that so i can now go to mass let's check the mass of this out so 0 0.119 go back to the master and check that mass out okay and base is saying ah because i haven't defined a material okay when you go through this i will have saved this so always make sure you define materials if you're obviously referencing things let's type in abs again save that now go to mass now select it and there you go so i've got the same mass okay so if you check in masses obviously it's got to be the same material on each one and then if you have dimensioned it correct correctly and used the key options okay you will have the same mass as you can see there if you have a slightly different mass when you compared your design against mine what you'll have to do is check a number of things so check the sizes of your profiles you'd have to check the distance i set this work plane up here because if i did that slightly small or slightly larger that would affect the mass and again you'd have to check the options in shell and in loft okay just to make sure those are the same 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete. Uh, let's have a look. So actually, I'm going to go back in time. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to roll it back and go to there. So I've got my two sketches. So I'm going to go to this top profile sketch. And before I showed you that you could use a transform. So I'm going to have a go at this. So go to transform, select what I want to transform. Move the point at which I want to transform it. Okay, and I'm going to rotate this. So I'm going to change up to 45 degrees and confirm that. Okay, so you see now that this hexagonal is twisted. And I'm going to click and save that. Like so. So if I now go to loft, okay, it will be twisted even more now because I've still got in there. Let's have a look. Okay, match those particular points. All right, so it's 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 twisted that even more now. Okay, so you could do that to add more twists between those two. But if I get rid of that, okay, and just confirm it as I would normally do between the two, you still see that it's added a slight twist. Okay, because if we turn these two on you can see what well, that sketch there and that sketch okay you can see the twist between it okay if I go back in, into here again and grab this okay let's go to transform again let's move the point I'm going to transform to the center and let's twist that even more confirm it let's do it 30 degrees more and again, you'll see, okay, I've got a slight twist in there again. So it's all about messing around. If you want to do that technique, okay, it's about messing around with rotating the sketch, okay, above um, this one here. But I probably would recommend, okay, depending on the design, I suppose, is to use the option in here in the loft of, okay, connections. Right, and then you actually choosing which connections you would want to, to uh, you know to define basically that's what i would do personally thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description i'll see you on the next one